since we believe, therefore we speak. If you believe, you are redeemed. Speak so your life can reflect redemption. If you don't speak, your life will not look like redemption, though you are redeemed. What is to be redeemed? To be bought, purchased by the blood, out of darkness, into the marvelous light. You were bought with the price, and that price was the precious blood. So, one of the biggest problems, is, in fact, there are two major problems that I want to talk about. Number one is ignorance. People do not know about the blood or they think they know about the blood. Partial knowledge does not help you. You need total knowledge, complete knowledge, ginosko, deep knowledge. The word ginosko means to go on to know. You keep getting and increasing in knowledge. <laughs> Say I'm redeemed. Okay, now, if you are redeemed, it means that you are no longer a prisoner. But if somebody who has been freed does not say so, he will remain in prison though he is freed. Because remember, the, the, the satanic world wants you to stay in bondage. They will not tell you, you are, you are free. No, they will keep you in bondage if you don't know. Say, I'm free. Talk to me. Say, I'm free. All right, so he says, let the redeemed of the Lord, let them say so. What should they say? Who have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy? <laughs> I was bought with a price from the hand of the enemy. So if I say so, the hand of the enemy must release me. But I have to say so. I have to say so. He didn't say let them think so. He didn't say let them know so. Let them say so. Don't just think so. Don't just know so. But say so. Say I am redeemed by the blood of the lamb from the hand of the enemy. Say I am bought with a price. What the enemy is doing to me, Jesus paid the price so I should not be experiencing the things I'm experiencing at the hand of the enemy. I should not be bound because Jesus came for my freedom and I was bought with the blood of Jesus so I am free. And the Bible says, he who the Son sets free is free indeed, is really and unquestionably free according to the Amplified. Free indeed. Blessed indeed. O oh Lord God. First Chronicles 4 verse 10. That you would bless me indeed. And enlarge indeed. Not small, small breakthroughs. Indeed. Not a small two-roomed house. Indeed. 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 And enlargement of territory. Say Lord, I thank you for the power that is in the blood. Watch this. The Lord said, uh, Romans 10, 17, is it? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. All right? This way, yeah. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. He said, if you speak about the blood or you claim the benefits of the blood without believing it, it won't work. So you need to build faith for it. So you're going to need to listen to messages on the blood, like Sunday message, like yesterday's prayer. Listen to it again and again. Go through those scriptures again and again. Do you know, as much as I know these scriptures, I read them every time before I mount this pulpit. I read them. I can start reading them 3 a.m., 4, 5, 6. I go in bath. I'm in the car. My wife is driving. I'm reading. I know them. But I'm reading them. Now I make my children read them in the car. I say, you read this one. You next, this one. You this one. By the time we get here, we've covered 30, 40 scriptures. By the time we come from my house to here. Why? Faith cometh by? And hearing? Okay, now, he didn't say faith cometh by hearing the word of God. That's one hearing. He says faith cometh. Cometh means continue, present, continuous. It continues to come. How? By 
hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. There are things you get in the first hearing, but there are things you get in the eleventh hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep hearing it. You read it. Ephesians 1, verse number 7. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Say, I'm redeemed. Say, so he says, he says, the redemption through the blood and the forgiveness of sins. Redemption through the blood. I'm redeemed through the blood. Blood, redemption, redeeming, buying back. I was bought with the blood. Bought from what? Satanic prisons. Bought from what? I was supposed to make a payment, but Jesus paid for me. Substitution. Redeemed. I was redeemed by his blood. Not my blood. Not the blood of bullocks. Not the blood of goats. Not the blood of chickens. But by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that I was redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord, you found me so worthy for you to purchase me out of darkness into the marvelous light. You paid the price for me. Thank you, Jehovah, for Ephesians 1, verse number 7. I am redeemed by the blood. Oh, thank you. The whole day. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, Jesus, I am redeemed by the blood. I am so precious. Wow, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, this is powerful. This is good news. Then you share with someone, hey, do you know you are redeemed by the blood? Open, open, now you are preaching to them. Open Ephesians 1, 7. You are redeemed by the blood. Yes, yes. Why You are redeemed by the blood. Are you seeing it? This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. In other words, you are saying it the whole day. One scripture. You are building faith. When you have built faith now, since you believe, then speak. If you speak without believing, it carries no power. Say, I believe, therefore I speak. I am redeemed by the blood. I am bought with the precious blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, I am saying so. I am saying it. He says in Psalm 8110, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. So if you open your mouth wide concerning being redeemed by the blood, he will fill you with the benefits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not enough to know it. Don't be an arrogant Christian. An arrogant Christian says, ah, so you think I don't know about the blood? If you know, why are you quiet? Since you know, say it. Since you know, say it. Even salvation that is free, you cannot be saved until you say it. That's why we say, lift up your right hand, open your mouth and say it. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart. I thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. I believe that my sins are forgiven. Now I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. You have to say it. You have to say it. Listen to me. There are many professors that know many powerful things about business, but the reason why they are poor is because they don't do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Be a practitioner of your Christianity. Profess your faith. It's a profession. Ibasa, Ritori Basa. Work out your own salvation. Don't think about your salvation. Work it out. Speak it. Declare it. Decree it. I am free. Even if your relatives disagree with you, you say and disagree with the, and, and agree with the word of God. You agree with the word of God. But if you are quiet, what your relatives say about you is what shall come to pass. If they call you a jira and you say, you keep quiet, you are a jira. But if you say, no, I am part of the lion of the tribe of Judah, you are now exempting yourself. I am called out of every tribe, including the Chibuera tribe. And Sisoko, I am not a monkey. I am a lion. Church, you've got to agree with these things. Why, why do I say keep saying it? Because you, you were told these things over many, many years. You were told many, many times. So it is what you hear repeatedly that is imprinted in your heart and in the realm of the spirit. So many times you are saying it, not because you, not because you just want to say it, but because you are undoing, 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 undoing. It ends with Jira. The Amtupa they used to call you by. Say, I reverse it. Say, I reject it. It's not my portion. You were born into that mutupo. Yes, we don't deny. But you were born again. Yes, <laughs> you were born again. So we are talking about what we were born again. We were born into Christ. If any man be in Christ. 
So since I'm no longer a Weishira, all things, including Weishira, are passed away. So don't keep going back. If it has passed away, don't answer to it. Reject it. After you've rejected it, I am born again. I'm a child of God. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. The Holy, uh, the Holy Ghost is in me. The Father is with me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The same power that, that raised Jesus from the dead resides on the inside of me. Therefore, I was crucified with Christ. Yet not I that liveth, but now Christ lives in me. Listen to me. If you say these things, you will have a life of victory. Watch this. Most problems in our lives were derived from sin. Personal sins, the sins of our forefathers. And we are living out the consequences of the sins of our forefathers and our personal sins. Lamentations 5, 7. Our fathers have sinned and are no more. Hello? But we what? Bear their iniquities. Are you getting it? All right. And then the Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 13 that he who covers his sin now, that's personal sin, will not prosper. So watch this. To cover up, it means that you are trying to act like it didn't happen. Okay? Now, what you do with sin is you expose the sin. Don't wait for the sin to be exposed. You expose it and say, I have this issue. You see how quiet it is? Because you are covering. You expose it and say, I have this weakness. I have this problem. Hello? And I need help on this issue. Number one. Number two, then after that, you now cover that sin with the blood of Jesus. So if it remains covered, look, look at what it says. He who covers his sin, kuvara, not with the blood, but kuvara. He who ano varizira, ano wandisa, tunongo not a ubatu big. So you need to uncover number one the iniquities of your forefathers and say kumuri kwedu kune varui. And varui wao kana pawano rayavano kude uraro pamumuri. So you are guilty by sin and by blood. So if you act like there are no wizards in your family, already you are in trouble. Because you are now, listen to me, you can't deal with what you deny. So there's a problem in your family. Your father, Vanobatabat, Vakaromba. Kuromba means that there's someone else's blood which was spilled for that person to benefit. So because he's your father or he's your grandfather, Hello, you now are affected because you come from that lineage. So you now, what you do, you say, Lord, I ask you to forgive the sins of these my forefathers. You need to pray about things you don't know about. Lord, I'm seeing in my life there are traces of failure and poverty. There must be a sin covered somewhere in my family. So my father, my God, like Daniel, I ask you to forgive whatever was done by my forefathers. And Lord, even despite my forefathers, me also, I'm a problem. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lord God, number one, I ask you to forgive. Number two, I ask you to, in, to take the blood of Jesus and cover that sin. Then you begin to quote the relevant scriptures that talk about the forgiveness of sins and the covering of the blood. Hello? Like Ephesians 1 verse 7 that I showed you. Then you begin to take that scripture and apply it over your life. So you've uncovered the sin and then you've covered it with the blood. Once you do that, then it means that you begin to prosper. Yes, you've uncovered the sin, you've covered it with the blood, you must begin to prosper. Yes, you must begin to prosper. Because it is the sin that is stopping you from prospering. So don't pretend like nothing is wrong. You know that your grandmother, it has spiritual connotations. Lord, I don't know the intricacies. I don't know how deep that thing was. But whatever it was, on her behalf, since she's dead, 
on her behalf, I don't say it's not my problem, on her behalf, I ask you to forgive. You knock to Musha when you come in your hands, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You know, that's witchcraft. There's no one who plays with a serpent as a, as a pet. You're not white. Unless So you know that game was played in your family. Hello? So it means at some point, that means because of that witch in the family. So you now take the blood of Jesus and you apply it on that situation. Can I teach a little bit? Psalm 11 verse 3. If the foundations be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Your family foundations have been destroyed by witchcraft. Listen to what it says. What shall the righteous? They are born again, but what shall they do? In other words, you do nothing because of the foundation. Solution. Blood of Jesus, visit my foundation. Blood of Jesus, visit my foundation. There are many dangerous things done in my foundation in my past. Do not forget the stone from which you were hewn. Don't act like you came from nowhere. You came from somewhere. And the somewhere you came from is causing problems for you today. Your past, if not dealt with by the blood of Jesus, will bleed into your present and spoil your future. Your past bleeding into your present and spoiling your future. So what do you do? You take the blood of Jesus and you say, blood of Jesus, I have a faulty foundation. There are cracks in my foundation. Listen, if there are cracks in this foundation, we'll see cracks on the wall. Am I right? The building, you know, say Amazo. Look at your life. So do you know what you are doing? You are trying to plaster the wall, your cracker foot. Then you plaster again, your cracker foot. No, you need to bring down the whole building and say, Jehovah, the foundations are destroyed. What shall the righteous do? Ah, I can do something. Okay, I can take the blood of Jesus and apply it into my foundation. Say, blood of Jesus, with this understanding, I apply you into my foundation. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, with my hands lifted up, I apply the blood of Jesus onto my foundation. Come on, plead the blood of Jesus into your family foundation on your mother's side. Say, blood of Jesus, I apply you into the foundation on my mother's side as I pray now in the Holy Ghost with my hands lifted up I invoke the blood of Jesus into my family foundation on my mother's side open your mouth and pray the blood the blood the blood your foundation is faulty causing you to fail so you apply the blood we are getting to the root of the problem apply the blood of Jesus ropara Jesu into the foundation Yes. Hallelujah. Shout the blood. You're not shouting it. Shout the blood. Talk to me. Say the blood. Say I'm redeemed by the blood. I'm sanctified by the blood. I am washed by the blood. My future is secured by the blood. Don't be passive. Don't be passive. My future, I secure it by the blood of Jesus. There is blood that is speaking in your family. Watch this. It could be the blood that was spilled of human beings that died at the hands of your relatives. Or it could be blood that was spilled when they were doing rituals. In other words, there were covenants made. 
So for every covenant, there is a blood that is speaking. So if you do not silence the voice of that blood, it's still speaking. Hebrews 11, 4. Put it up there. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. You see that substitution, right? I'm not going to get into that. God testifying of his gifts. And though he is dead, he still speaks. So there are sacrifices in your family that are still speaking. Kune mombe zaka itwa slay ne amazago ziruku taura pamsoro pe upenyo ako zunofa na kunyara ritswa. So we need to silence whatever blood is speaking in your family. It could sound like it's good things. I'm not interested. Even if your forefather sacrificed cows so that you prosper, don't partake of that. No, no, no. Because there are terms and conditions that you do not know. There's small print in the agreement that you do not know. Maybe you prosper. And then in small print, minus children. Say evil covenants that were made and blood was spilled. Blood of animals, blood of humans. Whatever blood was spilled as sacrifices in my family. And though my forefathers are dead, yet that blood is still speaking. Today, I reject those covenants. I'm not a part of those covenants. I refuse to be a part of them in the name of Jesus I rub them from my life. I'm not a part. I'm not a partaker. From today, I draw the bloodline of Jesus and I say, I'm not a part of that arrangement and my children are not a part of that arrangement in the name of Jesus. Say so whatever that blood is speaking, I silence the voice of that blood. So you have silenced. This one. Then you take the new blood. Hebrews 12, 24. To Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. So we've rejected the old covenants. You've been saved, but you had not done this. So the covenants were still in play. Then they were saying, oh, I'm going to change. No problem. Because they knew there is a covenant that they made. That's why they've been laughing at your Christianity because you didn't know this information. As long as you don't dissociate yourself with the agreements made by the forefathers and you pretend like they're not there, you'll be very, very beautiful, voluptuous, vivacious, very nice, powerful skin, baby skin, curves like Coco, like Tarino bottle. You don't know Tarino bottle. Legs smooth like Monica. Powerful baby skin, hair flowing, everything, blue eyes, but single. Because the covenant says in small print, the family will prosper. To a human being, they marry you to a spirit. So, watch this. Here's the problem. One of my mentors in the gospel opened my eyes to this mystery many, many, many years ago, and I was still a very, 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 very ignorant Christian at the time. But this thing, I caught it hammer. Apostle Benga came in 2003 to Celebration Center, and he mentioned something powerful. He said, Many people are saved. They left their backgrounds. Watch this. They left their backgrounds where there were covenants that were made. And because they are now saved, they have not gone back to service. Those altars. So those altars are angry at them.
because now I'm a salad. So they don't service them anymore. So those altars are now working against them because though the fathers died, the altars are still crying for blood and you're still supposed to keep servicing them. So you're not servicing them. You say, Ups. <laughs> it's got like, you know, like, you know, all that material stuff, you know, you know, dad's crazy. I mean, he's like loony. You know, him and my granddad, you know, when my granddad was alive, they just used to do, you know, they just used to do these chantings and this, and this funny language, and I couldn't really understand it, and they would come out of, you know, they will come out of, the, you know, there's this room that dad had, and this room, you know, they will just come out, you know, all black, I don't know, it's just some, 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 some gory things that they had on them, and then he will just start speaking some funny language, and then he will just, he will just, he just drop like he's dead. <laughs> oh God, that was Shigiro. And rituals. So when your father died, you didn't go and continue the. So the is still looking for you. That's why I am saying those covenants, we reject them. We take the blood of Jesus and we silence them. Say every agreement made by my forefathers, known or unknown, I reject it. I refuse it. I'm not part of that agreement. Wherever my name is mentioned on those evil altars with evil claims, because I was bought with the price of the blood of Jesus, I was called out of that tribe by Jesus. I am coming out. Listen, if you have a debt, hello, and your lawyer gets funding and pays on your behalf, hello, if the person you owe keeps coming to look for you, who will deal with them? Who will deal with them? The lawyer. This one. I was guilty. I could not pay. Jesus, my lawyer, paid. So if they keep claiming, I go back to my lawyer and I say, Jesus, they are still trying to claim this debt. Guess who show up in court? Jesus. So when they want to claim these things from you, who must show up? Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Show up and show them these cars. Show up and show them the blood. Show up and show them the stripes. Show up and show them that you paid for me. Say, Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. I was supposed to die because of the sins of the forefathers, but Jesus died in my place. I claim the death of Jesus on my behalf. So I do not have to die. Though the wages of sin is death, my sins have been forgiven so I don't have to die. And even if I was supposed to die, Jesus died. And I died in Christ. Death paid. Now these are prayers. Not Maharita Kuda Kwenu. Jehovah Zirokazo Zirokazo. Stop my Zirokazo. Start talking about the blood. Say I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon my whole household. Per adventure, the house I live in. They did rituals before I was there and that house was dedicated unto idols and I'm suffering the consequences of where I live because of past covenants, geographical 
covenant made where I live. So today, I go in the foundation of my whole property, not just the house, the whole property, the foundation of the whole property, and I invoke the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than Msoro Elanu, Yakavi Gopasi, than Roparevanu, Rakadeuka. The blood of Jesus speaks better things. So today, blood of Jesus speak better things. Oh, we are winning. We are winning. The wizards in your family are angry at you coming to this church. You know why? They have no answer to this one. Uh, if you quote a scripture, they can try and quote another one and argue, but there's no argument with the blood. When the blood comes, all arguments cease. You know what God said to me? He said, <laughs> he said, Jesus went by himself, one person, to hell and conquered every devil, every demon in hell at one. Why? He went there with the blood. He didn't need angels. He didn't need an army because he went there by himself with the blood. The Bible says there was war in heaven. Revelations 12. Michael and his angels were fighting. The devil was fighting back because they had not yet used the blood. And then, then means it was later. Then they overcame by the blood. If you want victory, you've been losing. Use the blood. You use the blood. You have tried fasting. Now use the blood. You know the secret about the blood or the problem is you feel like you're not doing anything. And that's the whole point. So that you don't take credit. It was done. Just claim what was done, full stop. Listen, you are struggling to pay an invoice that was paid for. Just take the receipt. Just take the receipt. I need you to get this thing. I need you to get it. Say, I will overcome by the blood of the Lamb. I will say so. I am redeemed. We are going to deal with witchcraft on the basis of the blood. Witches and wizards have got devices that they use. Job 5 verse number 12. Put it up there. We are winning. Oh, we are winning. Oh, we are winning. By the blood will experience sweatless victory. He frustrates the devices of of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans you see that i taught something yesterday i'll teach it again the lord said to me i want you to learn this new way he says you must learn to say by the blood of jesus he frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. By the blood of Jesus, Psalm 7 verse 9, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So you're not just saying let it come to an end. No, you're saying by the blood. You're saying by the what? By the blood. Say by the blood of Jesus, whatever witchcraft is in play against me, against Cynthia, by the blood of Jesus, we nullify, we silence it in the name of Jesus. It will no longer work. Today, I frustrate witchcraft by the power in the blood of Jesus. As I pray now, with my hands lifted up, I invoke the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. This is powerful. This is a game changer. We are winning. Yes. Colossians 2.14. We are winning. I sense we are winning. 
I believe we are winning. We are winning. We were losing. And I was watching and I saw the devil winning. Hallelujah. Daniel 7. He says, I saw the, the devil winning until the ancient of days came and it was time for the saints to win. It's your time. If you can't say amen, it's your problem. I said, it is your time. Seasons change because of revelation. Colossians 2. Having wiped away handwritings of requirements. Remember those agreements I was talking about? They had requirements. They required something of you. But those things can be what? Wiped away. By the what? Blood of Jesus. Because they were contrary or against us. Say every requirement against me from my background on my mother's side and my father's side today I wipe it away by the blood of Jesus as I pray in the Holy Ghost clapping my hands I wipe it away I wipe it away I wipe it away come on open your mouth and pray Josh. wipe 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 it away wipe it away wipe it away, wipe it away. you are achieving something you are achieving something you are achieving something this time you win on the strength of the blood this time you win on the strength of the blood Cynthia you win on the strength of the blood I deliver you today permanently on the strength of the blood Hallelujah. There are weaknesses that you have personally. You have prayed about them, they've not gone. You have fasted, they've not gone. Hands have been laid, they've not gone. Why you didn't deal with them in the bloodstream? So we are calling on the blood of Jesus to do a blood transfusion so that I flush out Chipoera blood and I receive blood type Jesus. That's why sometimes you hear mothers talk of their sons and say, Hey, on a and those little Baboaki, Zirim Ropa. You accepted it because so you felt helpless. No, there can be a blood transfusion. Say Jehovah God with this understanding every weakness inside me today by this blood transfusion as I flush out my natural blood and I take on the blood of Jesus flush out Every weakness, generational weaknesses, flash them out of me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and flash them out. Flash them out. Flash them out. Hallelujah. I said to the Lord, Lord, how come you, you let Moses not make it to the promised land? He did a good job. You know, he got those people out. But it's unfair. Why did you, not, why did you allow him not to get to the promised land? And he says, because he allowed the iniquities that were in Lamech to continue. Lamech. Have you read about Lamech? Lamech was an angry man. Moses was a descendant of Lamech. Go and study it. He was a descendant of Lamech. So because Moses is not recorded in the Bible that Moses flashed out the weakness that came through Lamech, he continued that weakness. David, a man after God's own heart, his father bore him out of wedlock. That means David was born out of wedlock. David was a bastard. It's in your Bible. In sin did my mother conceive me. 
Hello. David was the son of a small house. Hello. And then David, because David, it is recorded that David said, Lord, forgive me. I want to teach you something powerful. Lord, forgive me of this sin. He asked for personal forgiveness. But he did not stop the iniquity. So it continued to Solomon. Who showed him? David, you don't know anything. You're an old man. I want to show you remix. I want to show you adultery on steroids. He says, what is one Bathsheba? You, what, one Bathsheba. I'll show you. 300 wives plus 700 concubines plus foreign women. He was not satisfied with local. He needed foreign based. Why? Because David did not say the prayer you are about to pray. What is the prayer? Say, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, I cut off every weakness from my mother's side, from my father's side. I cut it off whatever my forefathers had as a weakness, and I've seen them in me. It stops with me by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cut it off. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I burn every weakness from my forefathers it must end with me it must not continue to my children and that says the lord write this man down as childless a man who shall not prosper in his days for none of his descendants shall prosper write him down as childless and a man who will not prosper in his days your forefathers were ambassadors of poverty. Your grandfather did not even have a coach carry. Your father had a bicycle, Perry, but Ragazofa. You today have got no car. It is a sign of poverty and it's going to stop with you. Do you see generational case there? Huh? A man who will not prosper in his day and his descendants, even if he has a child, the child will not prosper. You are going to stop that. That nonsense, you are going to stop it. That's why I don't understand parents who bewitch their children. You must want your kids to do better than you. My kids must ride on my shoulders and do better than me. If you are normal. Say, Lord, the poverty I have seen in my family from my fathers and my mothers, it ends with me. I cut it off. I cut it off. My descendants will do better than me. I will do better than my forefathers. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I invoke the blood of Jesus to cut off poverty. That spirit, I cut it off. Open your mouth and pray. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. He do not cut itself off. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. Yes. Yes. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Pray. Pray. There are problems you marry into. Sarah married into barrenness. Abraham's family. Rebecca married into barrenness. Rachel married into barrenness. Even Leah was also barren, but the Lord opened the womb, but it was closed. 
there are things you have made it into that lineage. You had not seen that one. There are things you are not going to roar when you marry and then you broke and you are roar and broke and you before you. So in other words, Rebecca could have been fertile until she married him. These guys, did, they didn't all go and say to talk about the kids. They are things you made it into. You looked at them, you commented, you said, mm, but you left it alone. Can I quite just could never crush us, Namari, minus me? Can I could never crush our non Buddhist outside marriage, minus me? I'm just saying that I don't just so when you're praying, don't say quite just mention your own. You had not seen that one. guilty by marriage. Do you take these iniquities of what are my hips about? I do! <laughs> I'm not as a jingle. You looked at the yellow leg. You said, ha, I'll die for this leg. <laughs> oh God, there's life beyond leg. What did you marry into? Did you put it under the blood? Miranze, imagine if you were the wife of Reuben. Reuben, you shall not excel. And then you marry, never mind Reuben, you marry Reuben. So you have married into non excel and you have not applied the blood on that one. I told you yesterday, don't apply the blood. I just applied the blood over all over my life. Specific. You marry a woman who the husband died. Did you deal with that? What, what killed the boy before you? The woman at the world had how many husbands? What had happened before the ones? She was on fifth husband. What happened to the ones before? Either waka broke or ramka or agava. The widowed name, is it? She's the one who used to kill men. <laughs> that one. Her, her husband used to die. You just marry. Say, hey, this, this, this woman, hey. Her husband died. I have an extent. She's not sick. Open Okwana Kwana. Never mind that. Who did you sleep with? What did you sleep into? I know you put on a condom, but did you put on spiritual condom? You know what you said? You said, Lord, forgive me. And you cried, Lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. But you did not cleanse yourself from the consequences or from that union by the blood of Jesus. So you were forgiven, but you walked away with the curse. There's a difference between being forgiven and being cleansed. That's why there's salvation and then there's forgiveness, but there's sanctification. Don't act like you didn't sleep with someone. Please, can you pray? I don't need to give you a prayer point. You have many prayer points. Pray.
Listen. There's contamination that comes through sexual conduct. You were forgiven, but you were not cleansed from contamination. These things are not taught because they are deep mysteries. You are privileged to hear this information. It means now going forward, you fix your life. I'm not saying this because I want you to feel bad. What do I gain by you feeling bad? I want you to admit that I did one, two, three. Lord, thank you for forgiving me, but I did not cleanse myself. Say, Lord Jesus, I cleanse myself from every ungodly sexual encounter. You said in your word, if a man sleeps with a woman, the two shall become one. I have become one with problematic backgrounds. That has been the cause of sickness, disease, poverty, hardship, affliction, bad luck, last minute failure. Today, cleanse me. You said in your word, a curse without a cause shall not stick. As I cleanse myself from these curses, they shall not stick. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, I dip myself in the blood of Jesus seven times. Pray. You are winning, you are winning. The devil has been using this against you. You are winning, KPM. Cleanse yourself. Online, pray these prayers. Cleanse yourself. Is it David's son who raped Tamar? Why did that happen? It happened because David opened the door through sleeping with Bathsheba. David Abano Vurado Pakarana Bathsheba and Radzia Tama Yaigaraina every day. Automatically from then Tama became very voluptuous. So as fathers, we do things that then affect our children. I'm not saying it so you feel bad. I'm saying it so you correct it. There are things that we have all done that if God does not intervene and he must, they will catch our children. I am saying no. I am saying no. Say Jehovah God. I am saying no. This thing, my fathers did it. It affected me like Jesse did it. It affected David, but David did not stop it. So it affected Solomon. So my father, my God, I am saying no. There are people here, you know it. You know it. I'm telling you. You know it. You have seen it. Ah, this thing is painful. Hallelujah. Because somebody did not take a stand like I'm taking a stand as a man of God today and saying, ah, we are not perfect. But listen to me. If you were brought out of a family with those issues, you must not bring a family out of these issues. You must, it must end with you, somebody. I need somebody radical. 
Say, Jehovah, I'm the repairer of the breach. I'm stopping this thing. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm stopping it. Lord, whatever I did that affects future generations, I'm praying in anger. Lord, don't allow this to continue. My family cannot be destroyed by these weaknesses. I call on the blood of Jesus to deal with these issues. Open your mouth and pray. The devil hates this prayer because he was using this against you. Listen. There is a group of young girls in town that are wreaking havoc with men. These powers of the water and they are targeting men with potential. To ask now to sound it my weave, to look famba. Married women, be very sober. Pray. Don't tell me grammar. Pray. They are slaying the destinies of men. And Varuma Munazo Futamumire. Erection should not determine direction. Hey! What I'm saying is very profound. If erection determines direction, you are in trouble. Samson, a strong man, was destroyed by a small girl. What armies could not do, what lions could not destroy, a little girl destroyed. We are going to destroy this thing. I said we are going to destroy this thing. The devil hates what you are hearing because he's been using this against you. Years ago here, I did an, an altar call for abortions. I was shocked that the people came forward. And the Lord said, don't look at people outwardly. There are things that happened in the past. And you need to be bold enough as a man of God to help the people. I could not go no help them. You don't prosper by Gubaba Zero. You prosper by us confronting these issues. Say, Lord, I thank you for this platform to confront my issues from the past. Whatever the devil has been using against me, Jehovah, wipe it by the blood of Jesus. My heart was broken. I prayed for someone and, and, and the demon manifested. You can see, it, it was our assignment to do very business. Vara business. So what is the connection between that little girl and the business? She's the door that the devil uses. Let me teach you something. Women are a door through which men can enter the realm of the spirit illegally. Does a woman not have an entrance? These businessmen in the occult, they enter women a sexual transaction is a spiritual transaction. Some of these guys is got 30 girlfriends. You see, Chero, Chero, Iri Havi. And the Lord opened my eyes. He says, I see Havi. My rituals. So you young girls, be careful. I'm not saying everyone does that because of that of rituals. No, they, we all have weaknesses. But they need to be managed spiritually. I, I, I used to do a lot of these altar calls. I'd stop. God said to me, you need to help people. This series on the blood. We need to kill these things and destroy them. And he says, watch your people. Shoo! So rise. Because Satan asks, and say, Chekubatirira. Chekubatirira. The legal right for you to fail. You are not going to fail anymore. Turuku torera satan ma weapons. Turuku mu torera ammunition. Turuku mu vutira ma summons. Turuku mu vutira ma papers. Quit it. 
chikweleti cha ukaporomora iwewe Ruben pambeta wa baba wako Nestor Jesu we wipe away that sin so from now you shall ex Say Lord I thank you for this prayer my life is changing I am forgiven and I'm being cleansed from all unrighteousness wash me in the blood of Jesus cleanse me spirit soul and body by the blood open your mouth and pray Oh, this is powerful. Say, Lord, create a clean heart. Remove the heart of stone. Put a heart of flesh. Visai moyo. Unorabaga batirna zivi. Jehovah, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Listen, it means good so from then. Unengwa a wrong spirit. Unengwa a wrong spirit. So you need to pray that the Lord would renew your spirit. Renew your spirit. Renew your desires. Lord, let me desire what you desire. Let me like what you like. Let me go for what you want me to go for. Let me stop what you want me to stop. Let me start what you want me to start. Oh, these are prayers now. Say, by the blood of Jesus, Jehovah, clean my heart. Renew my heart. Give me a right spirit, a correct attitude as I pray. Holy Ghost, give me a clean heart. Help me, Holy Spirit. By the power in the blood of Jesus. There are sicknesses that, that flow through the blood from generation to generation. Even doctors know this. They will ask, the, you go with the problem, you say I've got a, a, a you know, lung problem, liver, whatever, heart problem. They're just checking your family first. The reason why they check if it's there in your family is because very it's obvious. If it was in your father, it will come to you. But we want to make sure that very is not obvious. Yes, yes. Any sickness found in your forefathers is going to there's going to be a cutting off point. If I cut off the flow, it will not flow to me and to my children. You are going to be the repairer of the breach. Who's the repairer? It's you. If you don't stop it, it will continue. Hallelujah. I want, to, I want us to pray generally, all of us. Amen? And then I'm going to pray for people with those specific problems that they got from their, from their parents. Just by a show of hands, how many people have got a sickness that is tra traced to their family members? Raise your hands. Oh, there are too many of you. So the whole church is an altar. If I ask you to come here, I don't have space. So if you have that problem, raise your hands. Say, Father, Please say it by faith. Say, Father, this sickness and disease that has flowed through the blood from my forefathers into my life and into my children. Father, today, by the blood of Jesus, I ask you to stop this, to remove this sickness in my bloodstream and in the bloodstream of my children. Jehovah God, by the blood of Jesus, we wipe it away. The blood of Jesus, a permanent solution. We wipe it away. Now begin to mention that disease by name, or diseases by name. Mention them. Pray, 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 pray. For example, you say blood diseases, we wipe them away. Heart problems, we wipe them away. Cancer, we wipe, them, wipe it away. Whatever disease, we wipe it away. Arthritis, I wipe it away. I eliminate it from my bloodstream. Now you are praying, church. Open your mouth and just attack that thing. Oh, Lord, we are grateful for your empowerment. This is empowering prayer. We'll see these out. Father, 
we wipe these sicknesses away we eliminate them from the bloodstream by the power in the blood of Jesus we eliminate we eliminate we eliminate them we eliminate them in the name of Jesus Oh, Hebrews 9:14 I'm almost done Hebrews 9 verse 14 He says how much more shall the blood of Jesus who through the eternal spirit say thank you holy ghost So now this is the holy ghost working with the blood of Jesus who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God watch this cleansing your conscience from dead works to serve the living God one of the things that the devil does after you sin even after you have sinned and God has forgiven you, he now plays with your mind that you are not forgiven. Are you really forgiven? Until you are convinced that you are not forgiven. So you don't only need the blood to cleanse whatever happened. He also needs to purge, to cleanse your mind from dead works, from the memory of those things. This is powerful. He needs to cleanse your mind. The Bible says there is now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Condemnation comes from the devil. Conviction comes from God. Condemnation comes from the devil. Conviction comes from God. So God convicts you, you change. Condemnation Satan. Anyone who keeps talking about your past works for the devil. Anyone who focuses on your past works for the devil. Right now you have seen some workers of the devil. So even you, if you keep pointing out someone's past, you are now working for the accuser. Accusations are based on the past. Accusations are based on I don't accuse you of your future. I accuse you of your past. He's the accuser of the brethren. Past. Focuses on the past. If you marry someone and you keep talking about their past, then don't get married to them. Why did you marry them? If you can't handle the past, walk away. I, 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 are you getting it? No one likes to be, keep being reminded of their past. Are you hearing me? So now, the Holy Ghost, using the blood of Jesus, will cleanse your conscience. You have not done that one before. Are you ready to do it? You will see a change in your attitude. Do you know, sometimes people keep sinning and keep sinning. Do you know why? Not because they want to keep sinning, but because the devil has convinced them that you are a bad person, you are good for nothing, you are a nobody. Look at you. You are finished. If it's better, you just continue. Because those are don't worry. I'm helping someone in here. Hello? He tells you, just keep sleeping around. Besides, you are no longer a virgin. You, have, you, you are finished. And now, Mary Pones. You need to shut down that voice. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. I am no longer my Pones. I say these terms because you will never forget my sermon. Hallelujah. Say, Holy Ghost, cleanse me of dead works in my mind by the blood of Jesus. Today I invoke the blood. Take your hands and put them on your head. I invoke the blood on my mind. Cleanse me from dead works from, from my conscience. Take them out of my conscience. Remove them from my mind. Blot them out of my memory. Listen, listen with your hands on your head. Sometimes the devil replaces pictures of you sinning in your head. You can blot those pictures out with the blood of Jesus. Are you ready to do it? Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I don't want those pictures anymore. Remove them from my conscience. Remove them from my mind. Remove them, Lord. You have forgiven me. You have washed me. Now purge my mind from dead works. I don't want to feel guilty about things I've been forgiven about 
anymore no more flashbacks in my mind i remove it in the name of jesus jehovah god may i never have a desire for those things anymore cleanse them from my mind remove those evil pictures from my mind thank you holy spirit for your power thank you holy ghost for your love thank you holy ghost for this revelation remove these things from my mind cleanse me in the name of jesus oh thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit hallelujah has this been a blessing to you now if those thoughts come back again hello you say what are you doing here blood of jesus on my mind i cleanse my that nasty thought i don't want to think about it again in the name of jesus lord cleanse my mind in jesus name amen are you seeing it because the devil is stubborn you try and come again but you now you keep reinforcing keep reinforcing hallelujah are you ready for the next level you are about to go to the next level because your past is going to be inconsequential. And listen to me carefully. Don't allow from today, don't allow anyone to harass you because of your past anymore. No. No. Akuna sna past. Akuna unango nyuka. Even Jesus left people in the temple. Akuna muna asinachi asina past. Your past is past. Keep it in the past. And to make sure it remains in the past, to know far and narrow parachutes. 